Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Ikra Hafiz and you're watching Desi TV USA. Let's have a look at the Kashmir news. People in India's illegal occupied Jammu and Kashmir protested against the killing of a nine-year-old child in Sran Kot area of Rajuri district. A boy named Afreen Ahmed was injured in firing by unknown gunmen near his residence in Shangla area of Sran Kot on Thursday. He succumbed to his injuries yesterday in Government Medical College, Jammu. Local people said that the boy was murdered by a member of the village defense guard supported by the Indian Army. The protester demanded an impartial investigation into the boy's murder and bringing the culprits to justice. Azad Jammu and Kashmir President Barrister Sultan Mahmood Chaudhry has urged the United States to play its role for a peaceful resolution of the Kashmir dispute as per the resolutions of the United Nations Security Council. The President of the Azad Jammu and Kashmir, while talking to the political council of the American Embassy Bradley Parker, said that the main reason for the worsening situation of human rights in occupied Jammu and Kashmir is that the problem of Kashmir has not resolved so far. He said the fascist leadership led by the Narendra Modi after the Indian government revoked the special status of occupied Jammu and Kashmir in August 2019. The human rights situation in the occupied territory has further deteriorated. He said that Modi government's unilateral actions are violations of human nation's resolutions. The Association of Akaf Jama Masjid Sirinagar in the illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir of India has expressed serious concern over the continued illegal detention of its head. Mirwais Umar Farooq, in a statement released by Anjuman Jama Masjid in Sirinagar, Mirwais Umar Farooq has been under illegal house arrest for more than three years and he is being completely prevented from political and religious activities. Anjuman Okaf said that yesterday, the 177th Friday passed when Mirwais was stopped for performing the important religious duties like previous Friday prayers. The statement said that on Friday, people from far-flung areas of the occupied valley came to Jama Masjid Sirinagar to be blessed by Mirwai's preaching and preaching. They reach, but they are disappointing not to find them there. Shabir Ahmad Shah, the detained senior leader of the All-Party Hurriyat Conference and chairman of the Democratic Freedom Party in India's illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, has urged the international community to take effective notice of the worsening political and human rights situations in the occupied territory. In his message from the infamous Tehar jail in New Delhi, Shabir Ahmed Shah expressed deep concern over the growing Indian state terrorism in occupied Jammu and Kashmir and expressed regret that Indian intelligence agencies are killing innocent civilians to fulfill their nefarious ambitions. He described the killing of civilians in Rajori as the handiwork of Indian intelligence agencies and said that the Indian army has a terrible track record of killing people to serve its interest. He said that the killing of 35 Sikhs in Chata Singhpura area of Islamabad district and the killing of 23 Pandits in Vindhama are clear example that India is using minority community members in the area to discredit the right-based Kashmiri freedom movement. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Desi TV USA or visit our website desitvusa.com.